Winning a prize from the RSC is, you know, it's, it's a high honour. Being awarded the Inspiration and Industry Prize um, is is amazing. It's a huge honour to be recognised by the RSC. Really, it feels really special. Um, I I didn't expect to uh, have ever have won an award. Been a member of the RSC since I was probably 21, and um, you know, I think it's uh, an institution I, I feel very close to. So it's. it's a real honour to be recognised. When I heard the news that I had won the Interdisciplinary Prize, it, it, it was the most lovely email to have received in the middle of COVID shutting down the department. The RSC gives its prizes and awards because it wants to recognise its members who are working hard, working imaginatively around the globe. So we get to see chemistry across its entire breadth and that's really very exciting. It's firstly a great honour to be invited to join a panel um, to look at the nominations and select the, the winners. It's really humbling to read about all of the amazing things that, that, that other members of our society do to contribute. Your peers have recognised you, the people feel that what you've been doing is worthwhile and I would say enjoy it and most importantly celebrate it with the people who've done the work with you. Teamwork is, is really important in chemistry um, and very important in volunteering as well. So we couldn't do what we do in the community lab without the team that I work with. Working together is the only way we're going to be able to deliver an, a great experience for all the people that come in. A really big chemistry resource is never going to be made by one person, even if they're working full time on it. So it's been really nice to bring together people working in lots of different fields to bring their enthusiasm and their joy for their field into that resource. I think the science becomes so much more alive when you're working with other scientists in other disciplines. I think by getting teams of people together, you open up the ability to answer much more difficult and challenging questions that you simply cannot do on your own. All the big problems that you know we are tackling, whether it is just the, the education of, of the one child or solving the big problems um, in this century, you need collaboration. One thing I love about science is this idea that we do speak a common language. That really allows an opportunity for like collaboration with colleagues uh, across the world. For me, we live in a very globalised world and if you were ignoring what was out there internationally, you'd be you know, really um, short-sightedly blinkering yourself to a huge pool of knowledge and expertise. Something we really want to do through Kembam is to ensure that when kids leave school, they have a fond memory of chemistry. And I think where that will benefit the world is, is that people have a sort of recognition of why chemistry is important and how it's essential for all these things in our everyday lives. Chemistry is an important subject. As we try and solve the, the big problems that we have, better we can uh, train uh, young people to see science and chemistry particularly as there to support human life and, and solve the problems we have, uh, the more we can contribute to those solutions. In regards to the importance of you know, fundamental research versus more applied, I think that it's incredibly important to support a diverse portfolio as a community. Doing things just for the sake of curiosity, we can see many examples of this in history where great uh, innovations have been developed and these were driven by sort of fundamental questions. And then on the other hand, I think there's been a lot of great innovations driven by very practical solutions to problems that we knew we had, especially for example right now during the pandemic, you know, it's a very specific defined goal and in a way that also helps drive curiosity and creativity. We all suddenly remember how important science is and innovation in, in you know, new therapies to treat this uh, COVID-19. In every one of those parts, whether it's even down to the PPE that people are wearing, the chemistry will be involved. I'm really proud to be a scientist at the moment. Uh, working in the pharmaceutical industry, we can get a, a bad deal sometimes, but right now it feels amazing to work for an industry where we really have the chance to make a difference. To all our winners, I'd like to offer my heartfelt congratulations. Um, your energy and contribution to everything that you do to support and promote the chemical sciences is really greatly appreciated. <laughs>